Hi there, my name is Andrew Ogilvy and welcome back to the channel. We're going to be playing some more Pokemon Leaf Green and in this episode, I think we're going to be going on and taking on the... Uh, what's it called? Is it called the Tower? The Bump... bump is it the Bump Tower? <laughs> I can't remember. No, the Bump Tower's in Heart Gold. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to go in here. I want to find the T. Did we get the T already? Oh, do you know what? I should have thought about this before I started. <laughs> Let's go T, 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 T. No, we didn't get any T. So, if you. We're going to be getting the T, and then we're going to go and make our way across to the. The tower. Oh my god, I can't remember what it's called. Is it called the Pokemon Tower? Is it the Pokemon Tower? The, the spooky place where the ghosts. Since we now have the, the self scope. So, there we go. We've got ourselves a T. If you didn't know, it's in this building here. I don't think there's much more in this building. I think if you complete the Pokedex and things like that, you can go up the stairs and speak to some guys. And uh, I don't know what they give you, to be honest, but they, they'll give you something. <laughs> so, let's make our way across. Now that we've got the tea, we can just cut through all these uh, these routes, if I can actually get in. And, uh, oh, that tea looks awfully tasty. And then I think he says something like, I'll give this to the rest of the guards. You can go through. I'll show this tea with the other guards. Yep, there we go. So now we can now trans uh, just sort of work our way right across. And as you can see, Team Rocket's still there. So I think what we're going to do, yep, definitely. I'm just sort of racking my brain to remember the, the order in which we play this game. <laughs> I really should have done my research. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's go, we're going to go for the, the Pokemon Tower. I'm going to call it the Pokemon Tower because I could be wrong. Um, we'll soon find out. Let's see. Uh, you know, that's actually really quick. I've managed to navigate my way over here. If I got Fly, in fact, I have got Fly. Could I fly? Could I have flown? Can I have flight <laughs> could I have flew <laughs> could I have flew all the way here <laughs> oh. but anyway enough of my rambling we're two minutes in I've still I've non-stop rambling uh, in this episode I want to talk about a couple of wee things and one of which is I'm, I'm actively looking for another dog and uh, it was up me and Rachel sort of were thinking about it and we came up and we sort of thought do you know what we should maybe get ourselves another wee dog for Gus because uh, we are out of the house for, for periods of time. It's not like lengthy periods of time, it's like up until like, maybe like three, three, four hours at the very, very most. Uh, between either myself and Rachel being out and the dog walker coming in. So, uh, it, it's, he's got a lot of alone time. And I, he is a very, he, he, you know, he loves company. Like when we go around my mum's one, he's got three German Shepherds, he absolutely loves it. Let's say, do you know what? We're going to capture this cube one. Nah, we're not going to capture a cube one. <laughs> We'll take the XP, we'll take the XP and we'll run. <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, it's definitely something that's been crossing mine and Rachel's minds recently. Uh, something that, uh, like I said, we're act that's us, we're actively looking now to sort of either adopt a dog or such, but we've had a wee bit of problems recently with adopting a dog. I'm not going to go into any details at all, um, but some nasty things said over Facebook towards towards myself. And uh, do you know what? We probably dished it out good as well, so can't really complain. <laughs> uh, so let's crack in with the battles. I thought we'd battled, uh, we hadn't battled m many folk here, so we have probably this entire floor. It's actually going to take us quite a while to work through this. I know it's weird things that just take a while, isn't it? Have we got bite? Yep, we've got bite. That was one of the main reasons I wanted to get bite on a uh, jet was for the super effective, and then by the time we switch between the switch training between the Gato and Jet. They've both got super effective moves. They're, they're gonna be fantastic when it comes to uh, coming up against is it Erica, I believe it is. We're gonna need them massively. Um it's one gym I've always struggled with I think it's when she she brings out like an Alakazam or something. Is it an Alakazam? Well it's yeah it is. She brings it out and I have to struggle all the time. Every like every, it doesn't matter how over leveled I am I always seem to not have any good moves towards towards it so I've got myself prepared this one. <laughs> I've I've fought this squad out uh, a wee bit so I, I definitely know what I'm doing now. Uh, we're gonna get Elixir here. I, you know, I'm not really too sure what items we're gonna get here and there. Um, I, you know, we'll just play. We'll just see what we pick up. <laughs> uh, so one of the other reasons, uh, one of the other reasons, one of the other uh, things I wanted to speak about was um, the unit. I've went a wee bit quiet, I've not really spoke much about the unit but we're currently waiting on the bank. Uh, authorising everything, so, um, do you know, this whole, I, I, I think I've said it previously, I'm so sick of this whole coronavirus is delaying processes and things like that, yes, do you know what, to a certain degree, yes, I agree with you, like, coronavirus, even in my work, it's slowed down a lot of things, but do you know what, we've had to rise and meet those challenges, like, we've actually got bigger pressures on us now, with the virus, than we did before, so, I'm managing to cope, so why these other companies that are, well, I'd maybe class like bigger companies than, my, than the company I work for, not able to cope, uh, especially like a bank. <laughs> so, 
I, I'm waiting on the bank authorising payments and agreeing that it's fine. <laughs> so that's just a wee update for you. But I, I'm so so looking forward to it. I really want to be in for uh, Christmas. I really do. I keep my honestly, guys. If you're listening, like fingers crossed. F in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> What's F in the chat for again? Is that for when, like, like in Call of Duty when you kill somebody and they take it in the rage? You know, like one of those ones? You know, like dead sarcastic? <laughs> uh, aye, so, uh, fingers crossed guys, like, I, I want to get in as soon as possible. I've got videos for, for the A45 lined up, I've got videos for my Porsche lined up. Obviously the Porsche stuff, I've actually got all the stuff sitting, so the sooner I get it, the more content I can bring out. I, I say the more content, I, my upload schedule is a bit chaotic as it is now. I'm three times a week, considering I've got a full time job, I've got a dog. Currently it's Christmas, I've managed to squeeze my wrapping in here, there, and everywhere. So, I, do you know, three days a week is probably my limit right now until it gets more. Until, uh, not that it gets more, until we um, pick up in like subscribers and things like that and actually make it more. I don't want to say worth my while because I really enjoy doing it. But enjoy doing it and then it costing me a lot of money is, is another thing, so... <laughs> I was actually thinking about Patreon. I don't know, it's one of those things, I keep seeing it like... Especially smaller YouTubers, I've watched, I've watched like a couple of smaller YouTubers. When I say smaller, they've got like... Thousands upon thousands of sub subscribers, but... Um, also, they've not hit the millions yet, but they still... They've all, they all advertise they've got Patreon, and they... That seems to do really well. I don't think... For me right now, I don't have that big a following that it would warrant me with a Patreon. I think I'll just keep grinding as it is, and the more subscribers, the more the more people that like the Facebook page, I'll, I'll maybe consider it. Obviously, it's asking people to give away their money, and I, I'm very tight-fisted. <laughs> so, I don't know, that is what it is. <laughs> so, I, 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 I don't know, I just don't know if I could ask someone to give away their money when I know fine well that... There's only certain circumstances that I'll give away my money, do you know what I mean, like, for, for free. And uh, I know there's people out there that think, like, they don't have Sky and things like that, so YouTube for them, they don't mind paying the, the people to, to produce content for them because it's stuff for them to watch. Do you know what? You can pay me. <laughs> I'll produce all the content you want. <laughs> Just drop it, in the, drop it in the link, uh, drop it in the link, drop it in the comments below what you want to see me play, what you want to see me do, and I'll, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> Money's money. <laughs> So, oh god, we've rambled on for seven minutes. I've, I've switched out there, I don't know if you've seen, I switched out to Nagato, and Nagato's gonna get the... Oh, I, do you know, I thought we never had a, a bite there. I was like, where's bite? <laughs> Faint attack. Oh, do you know, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. Uh, switched out to Nagato, just try and get the level ups uh, across the board, so that's us. We're both level 31 for Nagato and Jet. And uh, we're doing really well. Uh, do you know, I think I've got an unsaved, uh, an unsaved, a saved file of like my GBA game sitting somewhere and it does have like I'm, I'm roughly around about the same place where I am now so I think I might load that up and have a look. Uh, it's, I play it whenever I go to holiday so or whenever I'm doing like a long journey that I'm not driving obviously. Imagine driving and playing Pokemon at the same time. I mean to be fair I could probably play this with my eyes semi-closed. <laughs> well let me see what I'm doing but <laughs> it's all sort of comes naturally to me. I've been playing it for. When did this game come out? Long time. Long, long time. That actually makes me sound really old, doesn't it? <laughs> so, oh, do you know what? I think we're going to do it. We're going to do alright. I think we should be able to clear this tower in this episode. And do you know what? That's another thing checked off the list. I don't know what we get at the top. I can't remember off the top of my head, but... Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> so, there we go. Ghastly, another one. I'll maybe get uh, to 82, maybe in the next couple of battles. Uh, 82? 32? Do you know what? If we were 82, we'd be breezing this, wouldn't we? <laughs> I could take on the Pokemon League right now. <laughs> I just cut the battle through all the all the Daffy trainers. I do you know. I'd, I'd love to get to a, po a Pokemon to that level 100. I'd love to do a series where I sit and grind to get to level 100. I've never done it. Um, like I said, I think I think I've said it in a previous episode. The only Pokemon with, uh, that between me and my brother have ever got to level 100 was a Rayquaza, and it was only because they come at level 70 or something like that, and we just take it on. The, I don't know how many times we completed that Pokemon League. Just. Going through with just Rayquaza and just keep going and going and going and then battling everyone, re-battling everyone, uh, just trying to get as much XP in and then obviously, like I think I've said it previously as well, that I like to save my rare candies up to near the end and I think we got to like 94 and, or 96 or something like that, we just put all the rest of the rare candies that we had sitting on, on the Pokemon, on Rayquaza and that's, that was the first Pokemon I ever got to 100. But since then, 
Actually, I'm not thinking about it. I played a cheap version. I, I played... I don't know if he's ever heard of it, but it's called Action Replay. I had an Action Replay cartridge for my Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Uh, I can't, it, was, it was Heart Gold I played it on, and I managed to get to everyone to level 100. I was young. Heart Gold had just come out, and... Uh, oh, I would say it just came out. It maybe been out, like, half a year or so. And then, obviously, the new Action Replays all came out with all the updated games, so I ended up picking one up. Cost me a fortune, I can't remember how much action replay was, but, it, it, well, I was, I was dead young, so I was spending my pocket money, so felt like a fortune, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and, uh, oh, there's another rare candy speaking of them. And, uh, I, do you know, it was quite good. I actually made my... I managed to complete the game pretty quickly, obviously. Um, but it made it really enjoyable. It brought a different aspect to the game. But, obviously, I don't think I would do it again. I think I, I, I've experienced it now. I've done it in, in like, uh, is it Platinum? I've done it once playing through Platinum, I didn't get any of level 100 because at that point it became uh, very tedious. What are we going to do? We'll go with Faint Attack, but what I think I'll do, I'll probably switch out to Pain uh, and maybe try and get the Poison because I know that it's going to use like Focus Energy and is it Bone Clubber as one of those moves? And I, I, do you know what, I, I really can't be doing with it. Uh, pain, there we go, and I think we've got Ground Against Ground, we should be doing okay here. Uh, bone Meringue. What a brilliant name. Oh! Is that a fighting type move? Oh, we've just been done. We've just been done, guys. Oh, no, what, what have I done that for? Do you know what? We'll take it, we'll take it in the chin. We'll, we'll throw the double kick out there. We've done absolutely nothing. Pain, I'm so sorry. I forgot Bone Meringue was a fighting type move. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it out there. My bad. Oh, do you know what? We actually don't have a really good Pokemon up against this uh, Marowak. I think we'll, we'll have to go with Zippo and hopefully the Flamethrower will do some some serious damage to it because uh, obviously ground type, I, I don't know what ground type moves it actually knows, but I don't think we're going to be doing, oh well, <laughs> I don't think we're going to be doing too much to it, wipes out one hat, just sends a point for the start, shouldn't it? <laughs> right, restless spirits away, it's a shame you couldn't ever catch that, um, obviously well, as a dead Pokemon it would be a bit creepy to have a dead Pokemon on your team, but you can catch Cubones further down, let's quickly go in for, do you know what, we'll end the episode here, we've got the rest of Team Rocket to fight, uh, I've seen it about 12 minutes in, and um, I don't know what, I can't remember what we get at the end of this, but we'll get something at the end of it in the next episode. So if you've liked this episode, if you like me rambling on for 12 minutes, uh, if you want to give us a wee uh, like and subscribe, if you're watching us on Facebook, a like and a follow is uh, much appreciated, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!